and welcome to Masai 101. Today we are going to learn about HTML and CSS. Myself is Prabhanjan and I am a software developer at Masai. Uh, today we will see what is HTML, what is CSS, how to write it uh, and how you can build your own apps with the HTML and CSS. Uh, at the end of the, the series uh, we will create something that looks like this. Uh, it is a portfolio. You can replace the, uh, you can have your own image, your name, uh, contact details and your uh, information about your job experience and all. So the series is divided into small parts depending on the content and in this section we are going to learn about basics of HTML and CSS and how to set up the development environment for that. Okay, so what exactly is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's a language of designing the web, more like building the web. Uh, it's a basic building blocks of any web application that you see today, no matter which site it is. So HTML is not a programming language. There is no logic involved. Like if this do, uh, then do that, something like that. Or it's a markup language, like its name suggests. Uh, what, the only thing that you can do with it is uh, lay, lay, uh, laying out the structure of your web page like uh, where you want your header to be where you want your button to be and so on uh, that's the uh, it, it, it cannot do like changing the color of the text uh, it cannot do what happens when you click on some button uh, it cannot even fetch the uh, uh, scripts from other website and so uh, anything else it's a it's a static language whatever you put in the in your source code will get reflected as it is on your browser and how that works we'll see uh, soon uh, coming to the css part what is css uh, css stands for cascading style sheets uh, the oh, uh, the limitation of html uh, for not uh, being able to change the color text color uh, uh, any look and feel uh, it's overcome by css CSS can not only change the vis visuals of any element in the in your HTML page, it can also add uh, add dynamic nature to the uh, your elements like animations and so on. Uh, it's a uh, in 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 HTML everything is based on tags and in CSS everything is based on the rules uh, set of rules. So how to write uh, all of this will uh, soon uh, we'll see soon. Uh, this is something just basic uh, any HTML syntax uh, look like um, and now now let's see how to set up uh, a development environment for your own development uh, what you need is just one browser where you can see your output of your web page any browser is fine Chrome uh, is something that I prefer and that I suggest you to use it uh, but Firefox, Safari, Edge, any anything will work uh, and another thing is you need a text editor. Uh, here we uh, suggest to use VS Code. Uh, it, it's a really good text editor for uh, editing your web pages or uh, uh, building web apps. Uh, but uh, of course you can uh, even Notepad works just well. But with the any uh, tool listed here like VS Code or Atom, you'll get uh, help from the editor itself while writing code. Uh, editor will tell you that you have written uh, if you have written some co wrong code or like that. So to the, uh, to if you don't have browser, feel free feel free to go ahead and download it and install it. Uh, if you want to install VS Code, um, just Google VS Code and it will give you a download link and the installation is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just double click, uh, double click on the uh, setup and it will get installed. Okay. Now if you have uh, the uh, the setup ready, uh, open it in your uh, in any empty folder where you want your project to be and let's see how to run any html code so in this project uh, i have uh, this my uh, project's name is portfolio this will be your folder's name of course it's a it's technically empty i have just one text file here uh, we'll see what it is is for our uh, help in the future for now we we'll just assume that it's an empty folder and i'm going to create one new file in it and i'm going to call it index.html this is just a uh, common standard to give the name of index to any HTML file. Uh, so uh, you can give anything you want, it doesn't really matter. And let's just write some any 
text in it Let, let's say hello world and if I save it now let's see how to run this in your web and in your browser I'm gonna right click on that page and I'm gonna click copy path you can of course uh, if you know where your project is you can type it in your browser that works just fine and I'm gonna paste it in the browser and hit enter and there you go uh, browser will uh, read the HTML file and print whatever uh, is in the uh, in your file if I, I if I have multiple of such text it will work just fine now here you see uh, our text is on new line and here we are saying that everything is in one line and why that happens we'll see soon for now uh, that was uh, pretty much everything that you need to get started with the HTML development in the next session we'll see how what are tags how to write the tags and how to change the way uh, HTML uh, any any plain text looks Thank you.